Hello health champions! Today we're going to discuss the top 10 foods that contribute to dementia. We also need to comprehend some of the mechanisms that drive the development of dementia so that we can understand what the foods have to do with it. Dementia advances very swiftly with age. Between 60 and 65 years old, about 1. 33% of people have dementia. Between 65 and 70, it's around 2. 2%. Between 70 and 75, it rises to 3. 8%, and between 75 and 80, it increases to 6. 5%. Five years later, it reaches 11. 6%, and by the time we're 90, over 20% of the population has dementia. After 90, more than 40% of people have dementia. It progresses quickly, and we need to understand the reasons and the foods influencing that to slow down this progression. The brain requires energy to stay functional, using over 20% of all your energy. The brain produces energy from fuel, which is carbohydrates and ketones, needing oxygen to oxidize that fuel. Most of this energy is generated inside your cells in mitochondria. The brain also needs stimulation because, without it, the brain starts to degenerate and deteriorate. Poor genetics can harm your brain. But epigenetics, which means on top of genetics, shows how genes are expressed. Exercise is not just about losing weight but about stimulating your brain. Chronic low-grade inflammation is the biggest biochemical driver of degeneration. Oxidative stress, environmental toxins, and food allergies contribute to this inflammation. Dysbiosis, an imbalance of bacteria in your gut, creates inflammation and damage to the lining and mucus layer leading to leaky gut and more food allergies. These factors are interconnected, making the whole worse when one aspect isn't working properly. Food number one is excessive alcohol. Drinking too much will cause early dementia because alcohol is a neurotoxin and harms brain cells. It also causes leaky gut, contributing to food allergies and inflammation, and leads to fatty liver, which increases insulin resistance. Food number two is refined carbs, which include added sugar, honey, glucose syrup, agave, and high fructose corn syrup. These carbs are processed, raising blood sugar and causing fatty liver. Natural sugars in fruit are okay in moderation, but dried fruit and juice become concentrated forms of sugar. Starch, found in grains, raises blood glucose even faster than sugar. Excess carbohydrate intake leads to insulin resistance, which is linked to dementia, sometimes called type 3 diabetes. The brain depends on insulin to get glucose into brain cells, and insulin resistance results in less glucose in the brain, starving it. Food number 3 is sugar. It causes insulin resistance, keeping glucose out of the brain. Reducing carbohydrate intake can help produce ketones that fuel the brain and reverse this process. Sugar is 50% fructose, which causes fatty liver and is highly addictive. It also contributes to dysbiosis, leaky gut, and food allergies. Food number four is fish. Clean wild-caught fish is beneficial for the brain, providing omega-3s, EPA, and DHA. However, wild fish can contain mercury, a neurotoxin that damages brain tissue. Safe fish to eat are small fish like sardine, herring, and mackerel. Avoid predatory fish like swordfish and tuna, which have high mercury levels. Farmed fish can be acceptable if raised responsibly, but often they're fed low-quality foods and chemicals. Food number five is the dirty dozen, which are plants heavily treated with pesticides. Pesticides are toxic to the body and brain. Check for what's going on in your region as it differs between countries and changes over time. Organic options or avoiding these foods is better for those with genetic weaknesses or imbalances in their microbiome. Food number six is artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose, which are neurotoxins and disrupt gut bacteria, contributing to leaky gut and inflammation. People often overconsume these thinking they are a healthier alternative to sugar, but they increase cravings and disrupt the microbiome. Food number seven is bad fats, primarily trans fats and processed vegetable oils. These oils are high in omega-6, which causes inflammation. Fried foods using vegetable oils increase damage and oxidation. Saturated fat, however, is stable and safe to consume. 
Food number eight is anything that increases food sensitivities, like lectins found in nightshades and grains. Modern wheat is highly processed and rich in gluten, which many people react to. A leaky gut can lead to a leaky brain, causing brain inflammation and progressing dementia. Food number nine is excess caffeine, which in low doses improves focus, but in high doses becomes a stressor, driving stress hormones and shutting off melatonin, disrupting sleep. Food number 10 is food additives, including artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. These chemicals make food unattractive to other living things, raising the question of whether they're suitable for consumption. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love that one. If you truly want to master health by understanding how the body really works, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and turn on all the notifications so you never miss a life-saving video.